All right, shout out to my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the Bone here again, man. So news just out, Christopher Henry Gale is out of this year's CPL 2020 um, competition. On this day, I... So according to reports um, coming in, Christopher Henry Gale has decided that he will not be participating in this year's staging of the CPL. Now, this is a bit of a surprise seeing that it was just a couple of weeks ago Chris Gale was in the media complaining about um, some things that were happening in um, the Jamaica Talawa squad. Therefore, he decided to hop over to the St. Lucia Zooks. Now, you know, that was all said and done and it was expected that Chris Gale would be turning out for the St. Lucia Zooks this year. However, um, just a day before the CPL draft, Chris Gale sent an email saying that he, won't, he will not be available for this year's um, staging. Now, this is very surprising because, you know, persons were expecting to see the big man come um, this year. Uh, now, the main reason that was stated by Chris Gale is that... Uh, he needs uh, time to spend with his young family in St. Kitts. That is the official um, statement. But there are some amount of rumors going around that players are being asked to take pay cut. So we are not sure if that has something to do with it. But according to the man himself, it is due to the fact that COVID-19 would have caused him to be away from his family for a while. Therefore, he will be spending some time with his young family. Now, this is a big blow to the CPL because we all know that once Chris Gale is out there performing, people will be willing to come and watch to pay their hard-earned money. Now, the competition is expected to run, I think it is from the 18th of uh, August to the 10th of September, I think. The competition is supposed is slated to run. And this year's competition will be staged in Trinidad and Tobago. So it's not like um, previous years where we would have... Um, Jamaica, Guyana, you know, different countries having their home game. Uh, the, the matches will be played in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, the organizers are still awaiting confirmation from the, the Trinidad and Tobago uh, government. They have um, given a proposal and the government have accepted, but they are awaiting for their health ministry to clear it and say, yeah, man, everything is okay. But that is the big news right now. Chris Gale will not be taking part in this year's um, CPL. If he would have taken part, then uh, the St. Lucia Zooks would have been the third te um, team for the, for the Master Blaster, the universe boss, but you know, that's just how it is. I mean, based on what would have been going on for a period of time now, people would have missed out a lot of time uh, spending time with their families due to the fact that they would have been unable to travel. Now that uh, people are able to travel, they are going to make decisions that are beneficial uh, to their families. Now, it, yeah, it, would, it would have been good to see Chris Gale and Darren Sammy in the same team I mean, you know, it would the two of them are leaders in their own right, so it would have been pretty ex it would have been pretty exciting to see the two of those guys team up to set the CPL alight. But you know, that's that's just how it is. I mean, uh, we are not going to have cricket in our own backyard, seeing that all the competitions are um all the games will be played in Trinidad. But you know, it's Caribbean cricket, so we still want to support it. You know, so once um they are able to to get fans in the ground. You know, then whoever is able to go, you know, it would be nice if they are able to go and support at home. We'll be watching on the television. But that is a big breaking news. Christopher Henry Gale will not be a part of this year's CPL because of personal reasons. You know, so yeah, that's that's how it is right now. I mean, I, I, I was eagerly awaiting the CPL because, you know, cricket is, is definitely my thing. And it's more exciting when Chris Gale is there, but that's just how it is. Uh, we still have some big characters, some big figures, big personalities. We have um, people like Andre Russell. We still have our Ravman Powell. We have our Bravos that are still expected to, to take part in the competition. So, you know, um, it's expected to be very good, uh, just the same. You know, we just want to wish Chris Gale all the best. 
we don't, I don't know if, if last year would have been his last competition seeing that he will not be playing this year. I don't know what, what next year is going to be like. But uh, we just have to respect the, um, his space. He wants time with his family. You, you can't beat a man down for that. You know, so that's, that's what happening now. And it's just a couple of weeks ago, you know, this big halabaloo about Chris Gale transferring over to the Zooks. Andre Russell will be playing his last year for the um, Jamaica Talawa. I did a video on that, so you can just go over there and sports to the bone. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and get all the information that you want. Yeah, man, a lot of cricket videos over there and um, sports to the bone, but... Ah, the big man, the universe boss will be missed um, in this year's competition. But that's just what it is, you know. Uh, family first. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. And I mean, Chris Gale ain't no spring chicken anymore, no man. The guy is, is, the guy is 40, 40 right now. So it would have been nice to see. So no doubt, it would have been nice to see him out there. But at his age, you know, you have to make sure that he's um, spending enough, enough quality time with his family. And that's just how it is. The, the CPL will, will go on just the same. We won't have him, but that's just what it is. Sports the bone. Keeping you informed. Remember to like, share, leave us a comment. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Sports the bone.